Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to my channel. Doing these three things will help us make more great videos for you. Okay, so it's the 14th of April 2022 and it looks like Sky are due to launch sometime this year a standalone legal IPTV box for users to be able to receive the Sky subscription service along with Catch Up TV for the first time over the internet. Now this has been made possible before but it's been integrated into the Sky Glass TV. Also, Sky have launched a selection of their channels via the Now TV box, but they are now launching an IPTV box which has even more channels than ever before on this over the internet service. At the time of recording this video, we don't know of a release date, but it's likely to be later on in 2022 or how much the box or subscriptions are likely to cost. Now it's quite possible that the cost of the box will be incorporated into a monthly subscription cost. But as I say, nothing's been confirmed yet. It is thought that the standalone boxes will be the same as the Sky Puck boxes, which can be ordered with the Sky Glass subscription to allow you to have multi-room if you have a Sky Glass TV. This will mean that anyone with a TV can now get Sky without the need of having a dish. This will mean that where Sky installers in the past have not been able to install a dish at a property, this will now enable customers to receive Sky legally just as long as they have a good internet connection. This will also mean that customers will be able to self-install the product, so instead of needing to wait for a Sky installer to come and fit the box and dish, you could order the service and have it up and running the very next day. Unfortunately, like Sky Glass, which is a television which uses the same type of technology, due to rights issues, not all channels will be available on the Sky standalone IPTV service. But hopefully the channels that are not available at present will overcome these issues and will be available at some point in the future. Also, the service will not have a built-in hard drive, so recording of live television or programmes is not possible However, you can assign programming to its playlist feature, which allows you to access catch-up and on-demand movies and TV series at the touch of a button. It is thought that this service will eventually replace the satellite service, which will make Sky a huge saving on carriage costs. But don't worry, the satellite service will still be around for many years to come. It is believed if the new IPTV boxes are based on the Sky Pucks, they will include one coax connector to enable you to still watch some TV channels if the internet should go down, one HDMI version 2.1 port, 100 megabits Ethernet LAN port, and one AC power port. It will also include built-in 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi. The underneath of the box does have an on-off switch, which many users would welcome considering energy costs are rising. This is something that's been removed from many sticks and TV boxes, but it is believed that the new service will have the on-off switch, enabling you to have greater control over your energy usage. To use the service, you'll need around 10 to 15 megabits connection on your internet. So ideally in the UK, you'd either need a fibre to the cabinet or fibre to the property connection to be able to use the service without degradation in picture quality or buffering. The IPTV box will support 4K 60 frames per second streaming, HDR, Dolby Atmos, however, they won't support 360 degree Dolby Atmos or quantum dot screen technology. At the moment, this service is only being launched in the UK, but Sky and other countries are likely to launch similar services sooner or later. So what do you think? Do you think this is a good idea, a bad idea? Comment that down below. Do you think Sky could perhaps launch an app which is compatible with other TV sticks and boxes, such as if they launched a, a Sky IPTV app for the Fire TV stick? Do you think that would work? Do you think you'd subscribe to that? It may be possible that they might be able to build an app into other TVs, such as Android-based TVs as well. Whatever your thoughts on the subject, 
Please comment down below. Do you think that the UK's broadband system is good enough to support a legal IPTV system which would replace a satellite box, for instance? One of the drawbacks I can see is obviously if your broadband goes down, then in future when they uh, go over to this VOIP system, you've not only lost your broadband, you've lost your telephone, and you've lost your television. So is it really a good idea to have all your eggs in one basket? Also, I'd like to hear what you think about the subscription. Would you prefer Sky to do an annual subscription or an 18 month contract, or perhaps a pay as you go subscription system? Would you, would you be prepared to pay separately for the cost of the box? and then pay a lower amount for the monthly subscription? Or would you prefer to have the, the cost of the box included in your subscription like you do now with the, the current Sky TV system? As I say, whatever your thoughts, please comment down below. Let us know what you think. I hope you liked this video and if you did, hit that like button. If you think your friends, your family or your work colleagues might like it, then don't forget to share this on your social media timelines. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you find out about all my latest videos the second they're released, hit that subscribe button, then hit the bell, then hit all. You can also find me on Twitter at CWTech and also find my website at cwtech.co.uk. Liking, sharing and subscribing really helps support this channel. Thank you very much.